What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It is almost 8 o'clock, 7.58. Right now I'm at my mom's. I'm about to go ahead and ceramic coat these wheels. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the alcohol and the microfiber towels and we'll get to work. I'll show you guys how to do it as well if you guys are wanting to ceramic coat your wheels or ceramic coat anything in general. So here's what I'm using, two Walmart microfiber towels. You're supposed to have lint free. I don't think this is lint free, but this will work for now. I got some 50% isopropyl alcohol. You can use 70, up to 70 and lower, it's fine. And then here is the ceramic coating I'm gonna be using. I think it's pronounced Phytech 1. This lasts for up to one year. So after six months, you have to reapply the second coat. So we're only doing one coat, and then after six months, we're gonna go ahead and do the other one. I'll leave a link down below for this. This was $29, but I got like three-day shipping, so it was like 40 I want to say. So my wheels are freshly powder coated so we don't need to do any polishing. There's just a bunch of fingerprints and greasy hands all over them from lifting them. So we're just going to wipe it down and clean it. Now if you're doing a car you want to go ahead and wash it, clay bar it, and then after you clay bar it you want to go ahead and hit some alcohol with it and then you can go ahead and ceramic coat it. Um, the polishing and buffing that's optional. That's if you want all your swirls and scratches out of your car but I would recommend doing it that way before applying the alcohol and the ceramic coat so it'll last longer and look better. Now the directions say proceed to three steps, pre-wash, wash, and decontamination, and it also says shake very well. So it says spray directly onto the painted surfaces, wipe without any pressure with a microfiber towel, and then it says let dry for a few hours before driving with the vehicle. You don't wanna do this in direct sunlight. Also, I'm gonna let mine cure for like 24 to 48 hours before I go ahead and get these mounted and put them in the sun and whatnot. So I'm gonna use this dark blue rag to to go ahead and wipe it down with some isopropyl alcohol. And I'm just gonna dab a little on the rag. And that, that should be fine like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then we're gonna go ahead and wipe it down. You wanna make sure you get in between all the spokes very well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the barrel while there's no tires on the wheel. I'm gonna dab a little bit more. And I'm gonna go ahead and wipe her down. Now this stuff dries fast, so you really don't need to worry about drying it off, you can if you want. I'm gonna do it behind the spokes too. Just like that, and that's pretty much it guys for cleaning it down. Now I never used this before, but I've seen plenty of YouTube videos. Um, I don't know if you guys know Pan the Organizer. He's a famous detailer for vehicles and everybody watches his videos and likes them. He has a pretty dope channel. I'll leave it down below if you guys want some tips or I'll link the video too of how I found this. Now this bottle says go ahead and spray it directly on and um, we'll see how it works. I guess you're supposed to spray it and then let it sit for like a minute and then wipe it off. Now this bottle is supposed to last for about one to one and a half vehicles. So I know it looks small, but there's plenty in here. And then I'm gonna let it sit probably for about a minute. I lost my phone, so I'm just gonna go ahead and guess. I know with the other ceramic coating, you're like supposed to let it sit, but this one don't really say anything. So I'm just gonna do it just to be safe, just so I don't waste anything. My stomach's growling hard as fuck, boy. I skipped out on breakfast just to do this. Okay, it just turned 814, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off. So now that the face of the wheel is coated, I'm gonna go ahead and do the inner barrel. Let me pick this wheel up with the microfiber towel. And now we're gonna go ahead and coat the barrel. I'm gonna let it sit for about a minute again, and then I'll be right back. So the minute is up, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down. So this is wheel number two. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same as I did to the first wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub it down with some alcohol and get rid of all these greasy fingerprints. Okay, I kind of zoomed this one in, so we're going to go ahead and start spraying the ceramic coating onto the wheel. It's been sitting for about a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off. Now that the face is done, I'm going to go ahead and do the barrel. Ceramic coating is so easy if you don't have to polish or do none of that. So doing wheels are, are hella easy. 
as you guys can see. It's just a spray, let it sit, and then wipe it off. That's literally it. Like how easy this is to do, like it's so satisfying. And I can already tell by the other wheel, that thing is shinier, so it's doing its job. So here are all the wheels that are coated. Now I'm just gonna let them cure for like 48 hours. Definitely a little bit more shinier. It's gonna look good when they're on the car, I can't wait. I know my wheels are like new and they're not dirty and whatnot. You guys have dirty wheels and want a ceramic coat your wheels. So all you pretty much have to do is get some iron remover, spray it. You can even use degreaser or just normal soap and you just spray it on and then go ahead and scrub it and whatnot and then dry it off and it should be good to go. I'll come back in like two days and I'll show you guys how the ceramic coating works. I'll do like a water test and you guys can see how it beads off. 48 hours later. It was kind of bad lighting, but as you guys seen, it did bead correctly. So the ceramic coat works 100% how it's supposed to. Now I'm going to go ahead and get these mounted. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.